Welcome to physics class. I am Dr. P. Manoharan. In this class, I am going to explain about the Rossby number. This particular term is exclusively useful in the atmospheric physics. Atmospheric physics, where this Rossby number term is very useful. It is actually given by a scientist Carl Cluster Arvid Rossby. Scientist name actually. So, what is meaning? What is the meaning of this Rossby number? What mean by this Rossby number? Rossby number which determines fluid flow. The type of fluids flow. So, fluid actually uh, gases and liquids undergoes the types of uh, that means uh, belong to fluids, gases and liquids. The two also the category of fluids. Here you fully talk in this particular Rossby number detail explanation about the gases. So that's why I already informed that and this Rossby number is related to the this atmospheric physics. So atmospheric physics where the fluid term is related to gases. How strongly the wind blow is there? Whether the wind is uh, storm like wind, dangerous uh, like a tornadoes type wind or normal type of wind that everything can be classified on the basis of the Rossby number. That is the uh, beauty of this particular number. So it is similar to a uh, Renault number actually is uh, that number is a familiar one used in the uh, particular case of uh, determination of uh, determination of fluid whether the liquid flow is streamline or turbulent the liquid whether the liquid flow is turbulent or streamline that can be determined by using Renault number so Renault number is very useful to de determine the type of uh, liquid flow is maybe streamline or turbulent. Here the same Rossby number it is also uh, uh, for the fluids particularly in the gas. Gas uh, movement or the air movement is uh, like a cyclone type of air wind or the ordinary type of wind or oceanic wind everything can be determined based on the Rossby number. So it is a type of types of fluid flow can be explained very detail with the help of this Rossby number. Okay, so we familiar about the Renault number. If the Renault number is less than 1000, it is streamlined. Above 2000, turbulent motion. If it is the Renault number value in between 1000 and 2000, it is belonging to steady flow, steady flow of liquid. Similarly, the Renault the Rossby number is going to be uh, classified okay so uh, 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 what is the definition and how to find the Rossby number Rossby number it's a ratio of centrifugal ratio of centrifugal force to Coriolis force centrifugal force to Coriolis force so uh, the familiar about the centrifugal force is opposite to that uh, centripetal force is always acting uh, on that planetary motion so uh, each and every planet uh, which is in the orbital motion around the that means the sun and during that uh, towards the sun there is a centripetal force uh, away from sun there is a, a parent force that is centrifugal force that is a react, uh, reactive force opposite to that of the centripetal that we know the ratio of centrifugal to Coriolis force so what is mean by Coriolis force the Coriolis force is a parent force Coriolis force is a parent force is actually is happen because of the planetary motion the rotational motion of this uh, planet that is actually Coriolis is a type of force Coriolis force is a type of force is going to be uh, happen due to the rotation of the earth due to the rotation of the earth so it's a uh, uh, that means um, apparent force so if you know the centrifugal force of the particular planet and the Coriolis force of the particular planet if you know these two you can easily find out the Rossby number so Rossby number is nothing but the ratio of the centrifugal force 
to the Coriolis force. Centrifugal force of the particular way. Suppose you are concerned about the earth, the centrifugal force of the earth to the Coriolis force of the earth due to its motion, that is rotational motion of the earth concerning you. So it's a normally rotational motion of the planet. If you are assuming the earth means the Coriolis force of earth means the due to uh, rotation of the earth. So if you know these two force, you can find out the Rossby number. Also having a formula R R naught is equal to U by L F. U that uh, related to earth is a velocity. L is a length component. F is a Coriolis force. So if you know this Coriolis force centrifugal force of the particular planet, we can find out the uh, this particular Rossby number. So based on the Rossby number, whether the particular uh, flow is a uh, 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 high wind or low wind that can so if the Rossby number or not is extremely high or large size means it's a type of the type of wind is tornado's type of wind so tornado's type of wind is a heavy wind storm is related to cyclone and uh, is maybe causes uh, heavy damages to the surface of earth the tornado's type of uh, wind blow is happen or tornado's type of wind blow is uh, going to be uh, uh, predicted based on the Rossby number. If the Rossby number is high, the particular season it will be happen. The particular season, the rotation of earth uh, changes and the centrifugal forces uh, values, everything we know means you can find out the value. If the value is high, then Rossby number is large. So the tornado's type of wind blow is possibly expected. It's expect a heavy wind storm. That means that is the meaning of the Rossby number high or not. And if that R or not is less, that means less than one is a particularly in the low pressure area of the earth. And if the Rossby number value is one, is a oceanic system. Oceanic system. Uh, ocean wind blow is their value RO is equal to 1. Then also the Rossby number is completely affected by the planetary motion. That's all. So it's very clearly indicates see here the Rossby number is fully controlled by this Coriolis force. Already I told Coriolis force is because of the rotation of the planet Earth means Earth. So Coriolis force is if Coriolis force is high the wind blow that means our Rossby number is low. Rossby number low means that slow is low pressure. And Coriolis force is uh, low, then Rossby number high that is a uh, tornado type of uh, wind blow. So this is about the Rossby number. So Rossby number is a uh, uh, term is exclusively useful for atmospheric physics to determine the types of wind blow that's all so wind related similar to the Reynolds number which determine the type of the liquid flow that's a one so it's a new term so that's why I'm gonna explain this so I hope this video gives some clarity about the uh, meaning of the Rossby number okay we'll see in the next video thank you